Hey everybody, welcome to the Kids Inc. Podcast. I'm your host, Susan Yeager, and this is episode six. In this episode, we finish up our conversation with the fabulous Moosey Dreyer. Let's listen in. So one of the questions you've already touched on it was, though, it was your dec- decision to move on. You mm. I, Actually, I think it was sort of unspoken that I honestly don't remember. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say it may have been m- more mutual. Okay. Um, And it kind of made sense, you know, like the kids would get replaced with a new kid of the band members or whatever. And eventually, you know, something, you know, I don't know. I just, I feel like looking back, I think at the time it may have just kind of been a, an understanding. Um, It was time probably for me to move on to do whatever I ended up doing right after that. But um, it was a pleasure to be the, somebody referred to me as the, um, Mr. Belding of Kids. <laughs> okay. okay. Saved by the Bell guy. Yeah. Um, I have to say, like, the Kids Inc. fans are amazing. Like, uh, if you've done a fair amount of, uh, of stuff in your past, mm-hmm. I think, like, if someone remembers, you know, it's like a little bit of here, a little bit of there, but much like kids, it's always like, hey, make me a milkshake or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> um, Ice cream. Yeah. Whenever Ryan, whenever Ryan and I um, send messages to each other, which is all not that long ago, like we're, we're still in touch uh, mm-hmm. to a point. He came to a show I did not too long ago with Rasan. Mm-hmm. Um, but we always throw that, you know, nothing a milkshake couldn't take care of or, yeah. you know, milkshakes on the house. See ya. You know, whatever. Yeah. yeah. It's a nice yeah. joke. I looked up the term soda jerk last night because that to me, Barista sounds like some handsome French guy you met in Paris, but soda jerk sounds like mean, you know? (laughs) It it really wasn't that mean. He was just a little- No, it wasn't. He wasn't at all. He wasn't at all. (laughs) So um, looking back though, and maybe more first season, second season, when it was on regular television before it moved to Disney, were you ever recognized out in at the supermarket or grocery store? Like, did you have any outside fan encounters like that? Sure, absolutely. Yeah. Um, um, I did a fair get recognized for Kids Inc. a lot, but um, also for some other things I did. But I would say more times than not, you're the. I think we went to high school together, or I think we went to grade school together. I, I would get a lot of. I know I've met you. I know I've seen you. You know. Uh, you know, are you from oh, you know, Tallahassee? And I'm like, no, yeah. never actually been. And they're like, yeah, you have, you know. Yeah. But you I never that wanted that. to go, well, I'm on, you know, kind of been on TV. Like that's, yeah. Been, yeah. then you're the idiot. Then they're like, no, that wasn't it. You know. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, I didn't see that. I didn't see that. So yeah. you touched on this a little bit too. Uh, Post Kids Incorporated, did you want to stay in acting? Did you want to take a break? Uh, did you keep auditioning? I did, I, I did, um, actually post Kids Incorporated, my acting career was sort of like, I did a lot of guest spots, like the A-Team and Highway to Heaven and Hunter and these like 80 shows. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, then, let's see, I was over living in, I did a lot of commercials suddenly. I started doing, you know, going out on a lot of commercials and, and booking some, and that would be, um, you know, there's times in the entertainment field, if you're in it long enough, you remember pockets of just survival, you know, and um, there was good money in a landing and good national product, you know, if you can just mm-hmm. do a commercial. Yeah. Um, I remember doing a lot of commercials, but eventually it got to a point where I remember talking to my agent and just saying, I just don't know if it's fair to you if my heart's not into it, right. you know, Um and so I, I kind of just quit acting except for the voiceover work, which I'm working tomorrow, you know, like yeah. that all along we've been doing that. <clears throat> it sounds kind of crazy because I know my voice is a little trashed right now. <laughs> I'm doing a, we're doing a superhero movie that I'm not, I signed a D and an NDA. So I'm not supposed to like say what's yeah, out, can- but it's like a big movie and we do a lot of uh, crazy voices in it. So I'm a little, little trash right now. 
as far as that. Let us know uh, when you can say stuff. Tell us so we can talk about it. Oh, yeah, 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 not, yeah. Not until That's then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do uh, this niche, this, this odd little niche in the business um, as far as voiceover work. And we did um, a lot of stuff that isn't credited or on IMDb, although I haven't looked in a long, long time. But it's, um, well, we did some, we did like Shrek in Madagascar mm. and, um, uh, well, the list goes on. So, you know, there's got to be voices around the Eddie Murphys and the Cameron Diaz's and all those people, you know, and for those people. Yeah, it's that's fun. awesome. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah. And a lot yeah. less pressure. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. You don't, you can go in with a baseball cap and a sweatshirt and, you know, you don't have to go to yeah. the makeup chair or anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. Totally away from the business. And I know a little uh -huh. bit of this. I know you're a Dodgers fan. What do you do for fun? <laughs> Just so you know, tonight is a one game winner go on, loser is done for the season game with the Dodgers. It's called uh -oh. the wild card. Wild card game tonight. So, um, so I know you didn't intend to do it, but my anxiety just went I'm up. So just sorry. Me. I'm just kidding. I'm what? so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. You asked what, what, what do you do for fun? I know the Dodgers are important to you. Like, what do you do to get away from the business? Oh, um, oh, gosh, all kinds of stuff. So, um, let's see. So, uh, I hang out with either my son who's 15. Oh my goodness. Uh, or my girlfriend who I've been with for seven and a half years now. Wow. Yeah, not married anymore, obviously. Um, but my son's mom is still a really close friend and it's all amicable and, and everything's great in that area. Um, but so my girlfriend also was a child actor. I was going to say, could you just say who your girlfriend is? Because I have to fangirl just a little bit. Fangirl? Yeah. So Aaron <laughs> was Tabitha on the show Bewitched. That's amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Cute as she can be. And you guys are still so cute. Ah, yeah, shucks. No one's looking at me. You look at Aaron, you know. Ah, um, so cute. So, so she has, she lives out at the beach. So what I do in my spare time is I go, when my son's mom has my son, I go to the beach and, you know, either just kind of relax or there's every, it's the beach, you know, right, so. Right. Um, have yeah. you shown your son the show at all? Kids Incorporated? Yeah. I have not. I don't believe oh. I, oh, maybe I have when he was the age, when he was younger. Yeah. Cause I think, I don't know if it holds up the 80s stuff as well as right. it would now. Right. And also um, now he's 15 and a half and he's in school. He's a good kid, but I mean, you know, he might be a little he's too, too cool. cool. Yeah, yeah, too cool. Yeah. I do want to give a quick shout out though to Kids Incorporated.us, who has remastered a lot of the songs and episodes. I don't know if you get on YouTube at all, but you go down that rabbit hole, you don't come back. <laughs> like, you're like, I forgot they did this. I forgot they sang this. I forgot. So just right. a little shout out to them because thank God that's out there. Because so, I, I just love them. I, this is random and great shout out. Yeah, thank but you. that made me think of so I'm one of those people that I wasn't blessed with a singing voice, but I was cursed with whatever song I heard last. It's on my head the rest <laughs> of the time, like a lot of people. Right. Mm -hmm. So while working on Kids Inc., like you'd hear the same song in rehearsal or shooting it over and over and over again. And they sounded great because there was the it was Rasan and Stacy and everybody else covering, yeah. you know, the music and Renee, I, I always love Renee's voice. Um, and, uh, and um, I just remember, so Kids Inc. would have like, you know, top chart songs that were currently out, but they also do some classic stuff. Mm -hmm. But after a day's work on my own time, like turning the radio on or getting home, like there's that song I've heard all day long. I can't <laughs> hear that anymore. I'm trying to get it out of my head. It's so funny, yeah. but it would just like over and over. And when I would hear, even now, I bet, like if I hear certain songs, like Madonna songs or something that the kids ink people, uh, kids uh, covered, I'll hear the song on the radio, but I'm really hearing their version the play, yeah. you know, or some, or, you know. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Yeah, that was the other problem, you know, with playing the music. There was one, um, oh gosh, I want to say Janet Jackson song. 
and it was called Funky Big Band. And it must say that 700 times. And I was always afraid Doreen was going to say, just pick it up from Funky Big Band. And me going, <laughs> which Funky Big Band? <laughs> you know? yeah. Right. There's 700 of them. No, no, right. It all worked out. It was a great number. But yeah. But yeah, so I, I could totally hear that they they had to do it over and over again. And, and that's something I don't think you realize. Um, and sometimes they would always use the worst take, like the take where Mario's drum falls or someone's belt falls off or, you know, but that's fun because well, you see that it wasn't all, you know. Well, you know what? Yeah. with that schedule and three episodes a week, we don't know that that wasn't the best take. That's true. That's <laughs> I true. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember. Uh, yeah. I don't know if I ever um, made it a point to sit down and watch each episode. And so mm -hmm. I don't you know because I saw a lot of it there and I could kind of know, you know, but I right. did go back. I remember at the time I wanted to like see how certain things turned out. Mm -hmm. And I would go, usually if it were something I wasn't in or like um, some of the fantasy numbers. And I want to see how how it translated in the edit because I saw right. the director, you know, set up the cameras and position yeah or camera and uh, wanted to go back and take a look. But um, yeah, we don't know if those weren't the best takes. I do That's remember true. Mario's drum falling over at some point. Yeah. Um, there so were never, a lot of- You never got hurt or anything, did you? Like you never I, slipped I, or fell or- Kind of did. So we actually made a, uh, we made it to the uh, Dick Clark blooper show or whatever you would call it. Yeah. Dick Clark had that blooper show. I went to go sit down on the chair. Now the chairs they had in the place, they were these mesh metal chairs and they weren't built for Riley. They were built for <laughs> youngsters, I guess. So it collapsed as I sat down and I laughed and the kids laughed around me. It was just a moment of, oh, and that, so, but it was one of those serious moments, whatever the story was, Riley was sad and they were, you know, I was going to sit down and tell them or they ever asked me why I was sad. And so it was so quiet and, and, you know, it's like a, a deep, mo silent moment and my chair just clapped. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I remember that. that. Yeah. You know, something I just thought of though, is, uh, something about that made me think of David Hasselhoff. You guys had some great guest stars. Like, was that exciting? I know you you probably weren't as excited as we are because these are people who just come to work with you guys. But did you have a special guest star that you were just like, I can't believe they're here? Yeah. Uh, sure, we had a few, definitely. One was somebody that a lot of the people on the set who were older than me were flipping out about and Gwen Verdon mm. uh, came and yeah. did our show. And I'm like, fantastic well who's who's Gwen right. Burton boy right. old yeah. time huge star yeah. and, and so Ruth some Buzzy. Ruth Buzzy was on and Ruth Buzzy you know we, yeah when I was uh long before Kids Incorporated I was on Rona Martin's Laughing with uh Ruth Buzzy wow. and um who else did so um and so that was a little reunion between mm -hmm. her and I when she did the episode um my buddy Richard Horovitz uh who I grew up with he was the robot wow I believe he was the robot or leper. Yeah, he was a robot. Oh, but um, so who else did we have? We had Rip Taylor, I remember. Yes, yeah. Oh, we had some, like Jason Hervey came and did an episode. Right, right. Some people who are on other shows that would come. Yeah. Yeah. That must have been fun. Um, yeah. Okay, like my last couple of questions. I don't want to keep you all night long. Yeah, that's okay. Um, did you ever imagine that almost 40 years later, people would still be talking about the show as dedicated to the show. Did you ever in your wildest dream think that? I, no, I actually, I'm, I'm really um, blown away by it and um, impressed by the loyalty of, of Kids Inc. fans. And, um, you know, and I know I, I was lucky to be a part of it and I was a part of it and really, and I'm not trying to like be overly humble or anything like that, but I know, the, it, I know who were the stars of that show. And um, they, um, when you look at the talent and the likability of, of all those kids, um, it makes sense that people are still like, oh, I grew up, you know, always just wanting to be like, you know, Martika or whoever, you know, and I, I get it. I totally get it. Yeah. Yeah. I used to tell people who were kind of like, uh, you know, you're spending way too much time on this show, you know, and I said, you don't understand 
these kids are going to be the Bette Midlers and the Barry Manilow's of my generation. You know, right. they're going to they're going to progress past this and still make good music later. You know, sure. like, and some did. You know, so we're very lucky. Yeah. But yeah. So, do you have a message for those fans? What would you like to say to them about their support? And well, just want to say thank you for um, enjoying Kids Incorporated. And um, you know, if there's any way to, uh, I don't know where it's, you can find them. I'm sure people can find them, but you know, keep watching. And um, hopefully, Tommy Lynch will do a reboot. You know, obviously with actually all new people right right um and uh you know do a new do a modern day i'm i'm, I'm in your corner if that's what you're rooting for out there that's what i would say because that yeah. would be cool to see like um today's version of kids inc mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know absolutely music fingers rights crossed. Yeah, yeah fingers crossed I, the music rights are tricky i don't know how they got how what all the music they got I you know. know i know I think that's the one reason Kids Incorporated, as we know it, would never make it to Disney Plus or anything like that because the rights to all those songs would just be impossible. You know, absolutely. I think, yeah, I did a movie once with um, so Jay Leno was in it. He was an actor actually before, and Fran Drescher. Anyway, it was uh, uh, called American Hot Wax, and and it was a. I loved that film. It was a very good film. And it took place in the 50s and I played the president of the Buddy Holly fan club. And I was really proud. It's one of the things I was, I was like that movie, you know, that, that one I'm, you know, I would be upset if that didn't happen to me in my life. Right, right. Uh, but it really is a, a, it's a very unknown film. It's because they couldn't release it for movie rentals because of the music. Oh, okay. It, suddenly it just hit a wall as far as music rights. When it was in the theaters, you can go in and it was a different story, but to sell it, you know, on at the time VHS, right? Um, they just couldn't, it, it would cost, it was just ridiculous for the movie rights. And I fear that um, any kind of Kids Inc. reboot might face that challenge. Um, right. I wonder if there's a way around that write all original music but i think that was part of the charm though it's the they were incorporating the music that we all knew right 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 so. yeah and and making it essentially a broadway musical where you're telling the story mm -hmm. through that music yeah, yeah. that was incredible yeah. incredible well i can't thank you enough for talking with us today i know the fans wonder what you're up to and how you're doing and i just appreciate this so much uh, Susan, thank you so much for having me on. And, um, you know, you, uh, it's just my uh, my soda hat off to you <laughs> for being a fan for so long and um, and still appreciating the work that all those people did and put into that show. So, well, thank you. Thank you so much. And there you have it, Kids Inc. fans, our conversation with the great Moosey Dreyer. Wasn't he fabulous? Like, he just had so many great stories. Thank you, Moosey, so much for doing this. I, it was just incredible to talk with you, and I hope we get to talk to you again soon. Um, guys, there, there was while I was editing, I heard one thing I just wanted to clear up. I was telling the funky big band story, and I said the phrase that was repeated over and over was funky big band. It wasn't Funky Big Band, it was And the Band Played. And so that was the phrase that they say over and over and over again in the song Funky Big Band. And it's not important, but you know, when I was watching it back, I was like, that wasn't the phrase. So I just wanted to clear that up. But anyway, in other news, uh, I just want to thank Moosey again. I want to thank all of you for tuning in. I could not have imagined the support that I've gotten since launching this podcast. And it's been so much fun. And what's coming next is is just incredible. And so a little teaser for you guys there. I can't wait for you to see what comes next. Um, in the meantime, be good to others, be good to yourself, and may the joy, excitement, hope, and magic that was Kids Incorporated find a way into your life every day. See you next time. Hey guys, we would love for you to check us out on social media. Tell us what you like, what you don't like, what you want to see more of. You can find us at facebook.com forward slash Kids Inc. Podcast, twitter.com forward slash Kids Inc. Podcast, 
and Instagram.com forward slash Kids Inc. Podcast. Hope to see you there. If you have any questions for Moosey or any other Kids Inc. cast members, please email us at kidsincpodcast at gmail.com. Everybody look around, hear the sound, something special's gonna come your way. We got something that is new, that is true, we got something to be.